Hey, welcome to the channel. It's Jack with Stronghold Strength and Conditioning. And today, I'm showing you four of my favorite knee stability exercises to help you build strength and relieve any pain you have there. But before we get into it, make sure you take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Thursday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine. And it doesn't get much better than that. So take advantage of it. Ready? Let's dive into this one. All right, like I said, today's topic is knee stability and strength. But there's something very important that you need to understand before we get into the actual exercises here so that you can make the most of the work that you'll be doing. And that is the fact that the knee stabi stability is highly dependent upon two other areas that are actually not the knee, the foot and ankle and the hip. So if your foot and ankle are unstable and you lack mobility or your hip lacks mobility and is an unstable area or weak area, this is directly affecting your knee stability and how your knee is functioning overall. So in order to make the most of these, we need to really make sure that we are getting a true connection from our base, which would be a three point contact, our first metatarsal, our fifth metatarsal and our heel. And that that is always our base when our foot is in contact with the ground and that we are using our hip in the proper rotation. And that would be for the majority of exercises, external rotation. So our knees would open up and our butt cheeks squeeze like you're holding the penny between them. So external rotation of the hip for things like squats, deadlifts, the front leg of a lunge. If you know those three, that's external rotation, okay? The only time we really need to worry much about internal rotation is when the back, the leg is back in a lunge, okay? The back leg of a lunge, we want to internally rotate the hip in that situation, but all the rest, we can pretty much get by using external rotation for our stability there and building that strength. But between those two things, that is what truly generates our overall knee stability. So these exercises are going to actually look at the ability of your feet and the ability of your hip and then combine them all together. There is one thing we'll look at specifically at the knee and that is whether you have the strength to extend the knee to its fullest capability. And other than that, we're mainly gonna be focused on feet and hip. So this is a knee video, you're not in the wrong place. This is a knee video, ready? All right, for our first exercise, we're gonna be cueing the engagement of the feet that we want to create a stable base. So using a small loop band, I'm going to anchor that loop band under the first metatarsal just behind my big toe of each foot. From there, I'm just performing air squats while keeping that band at stretch pinned between those first metatarsals. The goal here is not to let the band snap free. Think of it as a fun little game that you can play with yourself to try and engage the feet properly with the floor. So you should feel the first metatarsal driving into that band, pinning that band down, the fifth metatarsal connecting to the floor, and then the heel as our three point base on each foot. You'll notice my knees drive wide as I'm squatting down each time. I'm doing a little hip hinge to start the squat and then opening the knees wide in both directions as I lower down and as I return to the top position. Our second exercise here is strengthening the knee extension when the hip is also in extension. So you'll see me holding my glute there to feel my glutes engage in extension there. I'm pushing into the smallest toes, not my big toe here. I wanna be angled toward my small toes. Remember, internal rotation when the hip is in extension. And then from there, I'm driving my quadriceps tight into a flex every time pushing back into that band and really strengthening the quadriceps right around the knee there to restore full extension. All right, I hope you can see where this is building up from now. We've done the feet, we've hit the knee. Now let's go up to the hip here and we're gonna work at hip external rotation here in a half kneeling position. 
So we have the band pulling across our body into what would be our compensated position or the pattern of weakness that normally people will have. The knee caves toward the big toe. When we want stability, we need that knee to stay in line with our middle or smallest toes to keep it a stable contact, of course, including that foot connection to the floor. So here I have my foot connection to the floor. Once again, three points of contact. The band pulls me inward and then I'm driving that band outward so my knee lines up with the middle or small toes. My glutes are engaging. You should especially feel the glutes flex when you open that knee up into external rotation of the hip here. All right, and our last exercise is bringing it all together here, letting you run free a little bit in practice. So we're doing a curtsy lunge from elevation here. Now, it doesn't have to be this tall of a box to start. You can start smaller and build your control first because this is about patterning, which takes time. Motor patterning and control take time to rework. But I'm reaching with my smallest toes behind the big leg, the front leg, I should say, trying to tap the floor with my small toes there. Again, thinking of knee alignment with the middle or smallest toes. Here you'll be able to see that a little bit better. But as I reach behind the front leg, the standing leg, that automatically helps my hip go into that externally rotated stable position that we want, loading the glutes better in that way. So here it's all designed to help it build up together, extending the knee in the top position and a strong base from the foot here. All right, and there you have it. Four exercises that you can be using to build the stability at your knee and around your knee so that you can build strength at the system of your leg overall and improve your functionality, resolve any aches and pains, and any stiffness that you are dealing with. If you like this video, make sure you let me know by clicking that big thumbs up down below and take a moment to share this one with a friend who you know struggles with stiff knees, aches, pains around the knees, that kind of thing as well because stability is a big component of resolving that problem. And if you are a dad who has knee pain or problems that you want to get rid of, or shoulder pains or problems that you're ready to put behind you or low back pains or problems that you're ready to put behind you. Essentially, if you want to improve your overall mobility in the next 90 days, what you can do is drop down below in the description here and fill out the coaching application so that we can start a conversation and get you moving in the right direction. So you can play with the kids the way you want to so that you can be your strongest in the gym and so that you can do your full leadership role as the man of the household. So if you need help with that, down in the description, there's a coaching application that you can fill out and we'll go ahead and start that conversation so that you can start moving in the right direction. Last but not least, if you have not already, take a moment and hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on future content like this. Every Thursday, I'm putting out videos showing you how to resolve aches and pains, prevent injuries, and overall optimize your performance inside the gym and outside of it in your daily life and routine, and it does not get better than that. Welcome to the Stronghold Army. See you guys next week.